going to discuss and I'm going to show you the benefits of feeding aloe vera to your broiler chickens and also I'm going to show you how to prepare this aloe vera and how much you should give to your broiler chickens so that they may help them through four benefits that I'm going also to state and explain in this video and before you get into this video please ensure that you do subscribe to this channel like this video and comment below if you're going to do this and if you already know how aloe vera usually works in broiler chickens and if you've heard on how aloe vera works on broiler chickens so let's get started aloe vera is a well-known medicinal herb that has been used in many many years and this aloe vera gel the liquid that it, it is containing the aloe vera it has been found to contain compounds which has proven to have the following properties it contains antibacterial pro properties antiviral antifungal antioxidant anti-inflammatory antidiuretic and also it has been shown to contain wound healing properties that way that it can heal wounds or lesions so and there has been research that has been found or has been made on what are the effects that does the aloe vera gel have on broiler chickens and I'm going to state and explain four benefits on this. First of all, it has been shown to contain antiviral properties. That means that it, it has been shown to cure diseases such as the Newcastle disease and the influenza disease and that will help you know this this has been achieved through improving the, the immunity of your birds. It has been shown to improve the antibodies and you know that fights these diseases. That is the Newcastle and anti and the influenza disease. The second benefit is that it reduces the bacteria load in the chicken. That means that it is an antibacterial, it contains antibacterial properties and it has been shown to reduce the coliforms in the intestines of the broiler. These coliforms may cause diseases on broilers. The third benefit is that it increases the intestinal microflora, like the coli or the lactobacillosis. And this, the lactobacillosis that, in, that are found in bacteria or, or, or in, the, in the broilers usually improves the digestion. These microbes usually help the broiler digest the feeds and uh, they usually break the feed into small particles and now this the broiler can able to absorb the, the feeds more efficiently and that will increase the feed conversion ratio and also that will improve you know the absorption into the system of your broilers and now the final property or the final benefit of feeding aloe vera gel to your broilers is that it increases the body weight of your broilers especially at day 28 to day 42 between that period between 28 and 42 days that is where it has been found to function very well in improving the weight of your brothers and this has been achieved by increasing the feed intake that means that it will feed more feeds and it and if it's feed more feed now it's going to also drink more water and that process of drinking and feeding will help now you know to absorb or get more feeds from the feeders and that also the aloe vera gel has been shown now to increase the food conversion ratio that means that the amount of feed that the bird are, birds that the broiler birds are eating now they are going to convert those feeds to energy and that is what we want because that energy now will be used to make the you know to increase the body weight and also it has been found to increase the size and weight of in the of of internal organs such as the heart gizzard liver and also the fat of the broiler will increase so it not only increases the carcass weight but also the organs inside of the body of the broilers that the heart gizzard and the rest so how do you prepare this aloe vera gel to your chickens or to your broiler chickens for your broiler chickens you are going to acquire this aloe vera aloe vera from the farm you can either acquire from your neighbor's farm or your farm or all, all on the lot side but i advise you you know when you find aloe vera somewhere just come and plant it on your own garden and then you're going to clean the aloe vera very well so that you can remove the dust on top of it or maybe there's some you know some bacteria so you're going to clean it very well with very clean with clean water 
and then now you're going to cut the covering that is called the latex that that there that usually like a paper you're going to cut it and then the gel now will be dripping now you're going to collect that gel and then put it in a container so you'll be cutting some part and then then the gel will be coming out it drain the gel very well and now you get the gel but as as you have heard that i've not said that you're going to brand the aloe vera i'm going to i've, I've said that you're going to cut the covering and then the gel will be dripping so don't blend the aloe vera now when you obtain this gel now we have to put it in drinking water not feeds so how much will are we going to add in our in the drinker or the water you are going to add one one percent of this gel that means that if you have a a drinker or you're going to add water that is 100 millimeters of water you're going to add one millimeter and if you and and if you are water is one liter you're going to add 10 millimeters so now i hope that now you know how the aloe vera works and watch out this video here to learn how turmeric can be used and how much of this turmeric we are going to put in our feeders and drinkers so that we can help increase the weight of our broilers using turmeric which is a natural way and it is very easy to do and it's going to help you help your broilers to have maximum weight and they're going to make more money